This was the site the last time we came to Colchane on Chile's border with Bolivia. A tiny town where residents were outnumbered by tens of thousands of undocumented migrants, the majority from Venezuela. Today, migrants are conspicuous by their absence in Colchane. The reason for the change is this week's deployment of Chile's military to the border. Colchane's mayor applauds the move. This measure has helped to improve security for our residents because the army is now allowed to examine bags, do identity checks, and detain people who enter illegally. But that's not enough. The military is now patrolling illegal entry points along Chile's nearly 900 kilometer long border with Bolivia, detaining undocumented migrants who slip through. But the general in charge of the operation in this area concedes that it's impossible to control the entire border. Already we've had to change locations and the times we patrol because the migrant traffickers have scouts who are very organized. They've been changing their tactics. This three-meter-high trench was built by Chile's previous government in an attempt to dissuade undocumented migrants from coming into the country. But it was to no avail. Now, with the deployment of the military here, these undocumented migrants are being forced to look for more dangerous, longer, and more expensive alternative routes to get into this country, all along the border here. The Atacama Desert is dry, desolate, and dangerous. At night, the temperature drops below zero. Migrants die from the cold and dehydration. Yet they still keep coming. If they're caught, they're handed over to the police at this border facility and then taken to the city of Iquique to a temporary migrant facility. That and the increased patrols on this porous border may appease those pressing for more control of Chile's frontier. But even the government concedes that it's not a magical cure for a far more complex humanitarian problem. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Colchane.